Okay, if you are anything like me, I hate factoring. That's not, that's my least favorite part of pretty much any math class I have. Um, so I made a calculator program on a TI-84 plus CE, but it also works on a TI-84 plus. I do not know about a TI-84 or a TI-83, but it works on the most recent of the TI uh, Texas Instruments series. Um, it's a program on factoring, so basically you don't actually have to factor any of the things that they say you should, or well, trinomials, I should say. Before I walk you through step by step, um, this is a picture of the full uh, program written out. If you feel confident in your programming skills, you can just type it in like this, but I will walk you through it in just a second. So first thing you're gonna do, turn your calculator on. You're going to press the program button, go over two times to new, and press enter. So uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it F-A-C-T-R-T-R-I, as in like a factoring, a trinomial. Press enter. So the first thing you're going to do, program go over once and down to number three, and press disp because that means display. Um, alpha, make a uh, quotation marks, A, then x squared plus b x plus c. That's going to be your first thing to do. Then you'll press alpha and do another set of quotation marks and press enter. That will basically display um, whenever you first open your program that this is the type of trinomial. It has to be in this form for you to use this program. Then you're going to press program, go over once, and down to the second option, which is prompt. Press enter. Then you're going to do A, comma, B, comma, C. That will prompt you with A, B, and C whenever, like the A, B, and C that are in this first equation. So then you are going to do B divided by A stores, which is this little arrow, stores as D, and then press enter. Then you will do C divided by A stores as E, and press enter. Then you will do a uh, parentheses, negative sign, not a minus sign, a negative sign, D plus, then you're going to do the square root, D, and then squared, minus 4, E, and then two closed parentheses, it's important that you have two, divided by two, stores as F, press enter. Now it's almost the exact same thing. You're gonna do a parentheses and then negative D, but instead of a plus, you're going to have a minus here. And then square root D squared minus four E, two close parentheses, divided by two, stores as G. So G, and then you're going to press enter then you're going to do your negative sign, not the minus sign, negative F stores as H, press enter, negative G stores as I, press enter. Then you're going to go to program, go over once and down to number three again, display, you're going to do your quotation marks and then press A, parentheses, X plus B, close parentheses, and then another X, uh, parentheses, X plus C, close parentheses, then another quotation marks. Then you're going to do a comma, 
and then do another set of quotations and then you will do a the next thing we're going to do is a equal sign which an equal sign which you do second and press math for test and then press equals and then you're going to close it out with another um, quotation marks comma a comma quotations b and then you're going to do that equal sign again quotations comma h comma quotations c and then another equal sign quotations comma i and that should be the end of your program so then you will second and quit out of it um, and then to test it you can press program then go to wherever factor try is press enter and then you'll have it'll show up with this screen and then here are two different um, equations that you should try to test it make sure it works well so for a you're going to put in two for b you're going to put in six for c you're going to put in four then it should give you a 2, a 1, and a 2. Basically, that will look like this. If you plug in all of the numbers, it should look like this as your uh, factored version of it. Okay, and then you're going to try it again. Factor trinomial, press enter, um, and then try 1, negative 9 and 8. Press enter. It should give you 1, negative 8, and negative 1. And then if it gives you that, then this should be a correct factoring tool. Again, this is the picture of the uh, full program written out. Um, so that should be helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will try to answer them. Thanks.